spring march day in ohio it's like 73 degrees and this is new bike day this is my brand new 2024.5 ktm 450 factory edition pick this up from my good buddy wally at ktm wheel sports columbus ohio it's got about an hour and a half this is the first ride on it today and uh Okay, big changes this year. This frame is a big change right here. And of course the cutout, cutaway engine mounts, I think they changed some stuff up here. And the smaller linkage bolts, but I don't know, the engine's got, I think something in the air boot, still has the Akrapovich on it. And the big change too is the CUO unit here, the control unit off road. We'll take that. And I've been playing with it a little bit here, so. Just to get a feel, because I think the, and I'll do some more videos on the control unit specifically, but what I did for today was just put in map one, the most aggressive, which that means it's the sand dry, with the throttle response turned up all the way, and the engine breaking down, it's spinning, it's kind of muddy today, so we've got a little section of the track we can ride. And I'll do a back-to-back -back with my buddy Dave's 350 24 Husky. But as you can see, Cole's wheelie's fine. The engine character feels, I had a 23 and a half, feels the same to me. The chassis, that's gonna be the big thing. And I'll be doing some back-to-backs. My son has a bone stock uh, 2023 450 SXF. And this is stock 24 and this has the updated chassis but we'll ride them back to back get a couple of my buddies to ride and see if we can feel some differences on it but for now just play a little bit on a small section of the track that just kind of break the suspension and get a feel and I think the just putting around in some of the rain ruts can definitely feel a little bit of a different character to the bike. I think this chassis change is, it's, I was, I guess maybe, I was secretly hoping for a bigger feel difference, but it's there. Man, we gotta, gotta drive to get that, clear that one. But the engine power is really good. And when you say rev it up in second, and you can definitely feel that, I think they, they call it lean angle traction, but you know, I don't know if it's a chassis or it's a brand new MX-34 tires. They're both good. There we go. I'm gonna go play on this other little track because that's where I can feel the engine braking. Because when it, I'm in map one, which has the the aggressive map with with low engine braking. Because when you when you rev it out and then you back off, that's when you feel the difference in the engine braking. Like right there, definitely it's freer coming in here in those corners. That's revving out in second. And then standing up and leaning. Now if I put it in the aggressive map, do the same thing. Yeah, going into this corner, that's where you notice it, so... And it's not a huge difference. The only way I could really feel it is because I can, I can go back and forth between it. These engines just rev so nice. And there's a little choppy stuff. I think the, the forks feel a little better. the slap down stuff you get a little more tire contact patch feel and 
like laying it in these corners feels really good. Now, I'll have to do it back to back with the 23 and see if I notice any difference. But, initial ride. I think the CO unit is really pretty cool. The lit po function is super neat. You can take all kinds of laps and stuff like that. The engine mapping to be able to tweak it a little bit. That is cool. I get this bike in the neutral for some reason. Really easily. But yeah, this is a really big change in the chassis there. Engine mounts here and I think up here. Do you feel it on the track? No, it's not that big of a feeling change. Now, I'll ride it back to back with a stock 23, but engine feels good. That broad, long, smooth power. I still have the stock soft cam in it. I can go with more aggressive cam. I can do vented airbox cover. I can do a two-stroke cage, but the Akrapovich is quiet. Great brakes. The rear is probably a little more comfort. I mean, these bikes are not fun the first hour and a half, two, three hours. I open the clickers up to enduro settings, lower the fork pressure down to uh, 9.7, and then it's really more comfortable. It's like 18.23 up front, compression rebound in the rear. I think I'm at 20 and compression, 21 rebound, and two and three quarter high speed. And now I can ride a bike. And of course, it's early in the year. I haven't ridden much, so I'm kind of used to riding my beta with super soft suspension. But I like the feel of the bike. These are fun bikes, very easy to ride. I don't know how KTM makes 60 horsepower so rideable. But looking forward to more back-to-backs. We'll play with the CO, CUO unit. But for now, two thumbs up, first ride, 450 Factory Edition.